Welcome to Blossoming by Grace and Grit. This is our journey with God. The name of our devotional today is The Skies Proclaim. But first, let us pray. In Psalm 19, verses 1 through 4, the Bible reads, The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day, they forth pour forth speech. Night after night, they reveal knowledge. Thank you so much, Father God, for the knowledge that you reveal and how you pour forth speech, how the skies proclaim your glory, God, how everything, nature, every tree, every flower, every cloud, my Father, every rainbow, the sun, the moon, the stars, everything proclaims your glory. Our a little baby, uh, our, our son, our daughter, a family member, my Father, everything proclaims your glory, God. For grace, we have believed by grace, my Father, not by works. And therefore, everything that we have, the food that we put on the table, my Father, is because of your grace, because your grace allowed us to have a job, to make money, and to buy the food and to put it on our table. Thank you so much for the graces that you bestow upon us every day each and every day my father grace upon grace thank you in the name of jesus so there is evidence of god's existence and there is a revelation of god's existence the the two are quite different the evidence of god is correlated with human rationality in the case of evidence for god's existence we experience something from within the created order that serves as evidence for and leads us to rationally conclude that belief in God's existence is reasonable. For example, on the basis of an experience of the incredibly complex design of the universe, we conclude that belief in God as the designer is reasonable. We don't actually experience God himself, but we rationally infer that belief in his existence is reasonable on the basis of the design in the universe that we actually do experience. Revelation of God, on the other hand, is correlated with human faith. In the case of the revelation of God, we actually experience God himself through the things that he has made, and we know this by faith. It takes faith to believe that we have actually encountered God because he is indirectly revealed through the things he has made. We see the vastness of the sky and the thought occurs, God is glorious. We see the mass and height of a great mountain and we say to ourselves, God is all powerful. Our verse for today, they are referencing the revelation of God not the evidence for God. The heavens themselves are revealing the glory of God. That is, we actually experience God indirectly through the heavenly display. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day, they pour forth speech. Night after night, they reveal knowledge. Psalm 19 verses one through four. That is, we actually experience God indirectly through the heavenly display. God, one might say, is revealing himself through the, throughout the world and the eyes of faith actually encounter the unseen God through the things which can be seen. That is why the Apostle Paul can say in Romans 1 that people who deny God have no excuse because through everything God made, they can see clearly they can see his invisible qualities, his eternal power and divine nature, Romans 1.20. They have clearly seen, that is, they have clearly experienced God himself indirectly through the things that he has made, but they have chosen to suppress the truth by their own wickedness, Romans 1.18. They have chosen to suppress and deny faith in God. If you have been searching for a God encounter, look up. The heavens have been revealing him to you all 
along. Thank you, Father God, for this message, my Father. Thank you so much for the power of your grace, the power of your mercy, the power of your word, my Father. It is absolutely amazing and majestic and wonderful and gigantous and powerful, my Father. It is absolutely a love letter to your children. Thank you so much, Father God. In the name of Jesus. My friend, I encourage you to play in the light, play in the sunshine and dance in the rain. And if you're driving a vehicle, please drive polite. Also, you can sing as if nobody is hearing you. So go ahead and sing. And also keep smiling because God loves you so very, very much. Have a blessed day. This is a prayer to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Father God, thank you so much, my Lord, for Jesus. Thank you so much that I realize that I am a sinner and that I need a Savior, God. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for the precious blood that was shed on the cross at Calvary for me, for my sins. Lord Jesus, I ask you forgiveness for every one of my sins. I ask you, Lord Jesus, to come into my life and be my Lord and Savior. I give you my word that from this day forward, I will follow you. I will read the word, I will go to church, and I will spend time with you, Lord Jesus. I want to get to know you more. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for making something of my life that is worthwhile, something wonderful. Thank you, Lord, for accepting me as your son, as your daughter, into the kingdom of God. Thank you, Lord, for your love, for your great grace. In your name I pray, Lord Jesus. Thank you for receiving me today. Amen. My friend, if you have made this prayer, if you have said this prayer, I congratulate you for because today there is a celebration in heaven. The Bible says that when one sinner repents, there is a celebration. In other words, there is a party in the kingdom of God. And so I congratulate you because it is the absolute best decision that you will ever make or have ever made in your life. Many blessings to you and to your family. In Jesus' name, amen.